This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Pretty much from the beginning of when I started this channel, it's been like an ongoing documentation of what I learn as a photographer. A lot of the things I made videos about from the beginning are things that I'm learning as I'm making the videos. And I share my own photos as well to make it a little more relatable and personal. And I think that's what's fun about YouTube is that I can teach things with my own twist on it. That's what I really like doing on YouTube. So I think for the sake of what I wanna do on this YouTube channel, Every month, maybe, I'm gonna recap some of the photos that I've been making, share some of my thought process behind them. I've said that before on this channel, but ideally, I wanna watch my favorite photographers talk about some of their work, show some behind the scenes. There's just a lot of cool things that happen that aren't worth making a whole video about, but are still worth sharing. But that's enough of me talking. I'm gonna head back to my office and share some photos with you. Later that same evening. With all that out of the way, I do wanna talk about some of the photos that I've been making though, and it starts earlier in the month with a trip to Wildwood, New Jersey. Wildwood is a beach town. It's an incredibly beautiful town. I started the day in Wildwood shooting with the 4x5. It's the Intrepid 4x5, which is a wooden camera. Intrepid very kindly sent me this camera, which was super nice of them. I was shooting with this camera earlier in the day when the light was a little bit harsher, so I was overexposing my film quite a bit to get shadow details so those harsh shadows didn't affect the photo that much. And of course, I was shooting on Portra 400. I just went into that restaurant to use the bathroom, but it looked crazy in there. It was like monochrome blue. So I think I'm gonna go in and ask if I can take a photo of the inside because it looked like a movie set. The images out of this camera look great. They're just some photos of a Dairy Queen and an old diner, and it was really fun to shoot with that camera. I realized though that as we got through that day in Wildwood, that the 4x5 was not the ideal camera to be using. So I switched to the Mamiya RZ67. These were all Fuji 400H, which is the film that I've been shooting most recently. I love how neutral it is and how much you can color grade the film to make it look like your own. I think I shot three rolls, which was a good amount. And when the light started setting lower, it looked gorgeous. This is my second roll of the day. Yeah. Definitely. It's tough trying to decide what's worthy of a four by five shot and what I want to shoot on the Mamiya. There was this guy on a yellow, yellow shirt matching the building on his bike and Jimmy took a photo of him. I took a photo of a moped and at the time that I was taking the photo, I didn't think much of it. But sometimes after you develop an image, you color grade it the way you like and you finalize it, things can just work really nicely and I love the colors in this image. I can't pinpoint what exactly I like about this photo. It's just a photo of a moped. Well, I think it looks really cool. The colors are gorgeous and the light was beautiful. Sometimes it's about a photo that just feels nice and I think that photo is a great example. Prior to this trip, I just finished watching 
watching the Gregory Crudson documentary on Amazon, which is an insane documentary about Gregory Crudson. And so when I was up on the boardwalk and I saw my friend Jimmy way off in the distance, I asked him to sit on the sidewalk, kind of like Gregory Crudson poses people in his photos. And I just think this is a really fun photo. I wish I took this on four or five, so it was a little more detailed, but it's just cool to see him sitting there in the sunset next to this amazing fudge place. Aside from that, here are the rest of the photos from Wildwood. A couple weeks after I went out to Belgium to visit some family. I'm originally from there actually. And it's always nice to go back there and take some pictures while I'm out there. The only camera I brought was the Toyo 45A because I just bought that camera at the time and I wanted to experiment with it a little bit. These photos aren't final. These are really quick scans and edits that I made of these. Ideally, I wanna print these in the dark room in color because I think that's where four by five really shines as a format. One of the first images that I had in mind was taking a picture of one of these traditional Belgian restaurants which serve only fries. They're always like these really cute little cubicles. I don't know, they look like shipping containers, but they're small restaurants that sell just Belgian fries to take away. They're really typical for Belgium. I took two different angles, but I think this one from the corner turned out the best. This was during golden hour as well. And, and although this photo is cool, I wanna go take maybe like a hundred more of these photos. I think one is always nice, but when you have a whole set of something, it shows the intentionality behind the project. And I think that's what I'll do the next time I go back to Belgium. I also took a photo of a small chapel, I guess. There's a ton of these around Belgium as well. But again, I think this is one of those photos that would work better as a series of like 100 images. I might do that in the future as well, we'll see. I rarely get good opportunities to photograph some of the people in my family. And I think when you're starting out with photography, some of the best people to photograph are your family because it's the people you know best. They're probably comfortable with you and you can experiment with things. But I saw the light in the kitchen and I thought this would be a great opportunity to make a portrait of my mom, which I don't get to do enough. And I really like the way the lighting worked on this photo. The flowers are beautiful and the way they cast a shadow on her worked really well. I think this is a really cool portrait and it makes me wish I did more of these. Aside from that, while I was in Belgium, I took a couple more photos of things like houses and flowers. I like photographing ordinary things while I'm out in Belgium because the ordinary looks so different to what it does here in America. So it's cool to go back and photograph those kinds of things. These were all shot on the Toyo 405 with Portra 400. So classic setup, but it works really good. I was using a 150 millimeter lens, which is equivalent to like a 50 on 35 millimeter, so a good standard focal length. I wanna talk about a portrait photography session with a really cool artist I did recently. Her name is Amal. She's from Toronto. These photos were taken in New York on the Mamiya RZ67. The reason I wanna talk about this shoot is because these photos were taken in probably the least optimal conditions you could possibly imagine. I had 30 minutes with her because we got a little bit of a late start. We also shot during midday, really harsh sunlight. I think it was 1 p.m. when we took these photos, which is probably the most unidentified ideal lighting situation. It's really not very flattering for portraits. So what I did was use a star filter on my Mamiya RZ67. This gives your highlights a little bit of a glow and a diffusion. And it gives these beautiful little stars around the very brightest highlights of your photo. This is more of one of those trendy Instagram things that you see a ton of the time. But I think it's a great way to shoot during super bright daylight because it does diffuse those highlights a little bit. It softens the image just like a pro mist filter would. And I think that's really what saved these photos, but also she really knew what kind of poses she wanted to do. If you have any good ideas for what this series should be called, where I just talk about some of my photos, leave me a comment down below. I'm trying to come up with a name for it. I thought about photo diaries, but I think that's a little too basic. So if you have any recommendations, drop them below. I also wanna give a huge thank you to this week's sponsor, which is Squarespace. I've had my website on Squarespace for over two years now and everything from their incredibly customizable templates to the 24 seven online customer support makes it so easy to not only beautifully showcase my 
to work, but also continually keep it updated with new photos and new projects. Use the link in the description for a 14 day free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Willem for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Big thank you to them for sponsoring this video and making it possible for me to continue making content just like this. As always, you can check out my Instagram, which is at Willem Verb. That's it for now. Peace.